This morning, hundreds of people whose homes flooded are at Red Cross shelters. Now, the shelters have been open throughout the Houston area. In Harris, in Harris County, uh, the centers are open at the Chinese Community Center, Willow's, uh, Willow Meadows Baptist Church, Johnston Middle School, and Jersey Village Baptist Church. Channel 2, Sophia Ojeda, live at the M.O. Campbell Education Center. Sophia, what kind of help are people getting out there? Yeah, oh, and for those who have lost virtually everything, these types of shelters help people stay dry, get warm, get food, um, and then start to rebuild, start that rebuilding process. We're here at the Mo Campbell Education Center. This is where the Red Cross has set up one of a dozen shelters here for folks that have lost their homes, that were devastated by those floodwaters. Many of those families, many of those people, now they're trying to figure out exactly what to do. So I'm just, you know, just praying and just wondering where, where do we go from here. And here's a look at what these families had to deal with when their apartments along Greens Road filled with two and a half feet of water. Many of these folks had to make their way through the flooded roads with the few items they could bring. Neighbors also checked on one another, some using their own boats to rescue people. When the fireman knocked on the door say, you know, you guys need to get out because we're going to turn the lights and the water off. And then at that point, we just walked on to the front and saw that bus. Many of these victims were brought to the Mo Campbell shelter set up by the Red Cross. 270 people whose homes were destroyed are staying here for as long as they need the help. Meanwhile, this facility at the Acres Home Community Center collected donations to help these families. Within a span of four hours, hundreds of items were dropped off from water bottles and food to bags and bags of clothing and diapers. But officials say they cannot accept any more items. If you want to help, please give money. It's definitely the best way they could distribute from there to the shelters that are in need. They could also help the families directly. Another thing that these shelters give to folks, you can see that there is a police officer here. Another thing that they give to these folks is, is peace of mind, is safety, is to know that they are safe here. Um, they're in a place where they're going to get some help. Now, Red Cross officials are telling us that they do need more volunteers. Some of these volunteers and coordinators have been up for more than 24 hours now. So if you can help, contact the Red Cross. Live in North Houston, Sophia Ojeda, KPRC Channel 2 News. All right, Sophia, thank you. And KPRC Channel 2 is teaming up with the Greater Houston Area Chapter of the American Red Cross to help out the flood victims. We're setting up a phone bank starting at 11 o'clock this morning. It'll run first until 1. There'll be a break, and then it will resume from 4 until 7 this evening. We'll be taking donations to help families affected by the flooding. For more information uh, to, tomorrow uh, on air, online, click to Houston.com. More information on the phone bank that happens this morning.